Hello, everybody. It's -a me. I'm Minot Mario. In case you didn't realize, I just am a little disappointed that I couldn't just immediately get on and have my goal of just like sitting here and playing for a while. Now it's lagging. I don't know why. But I had to delete Optifine 1.9.2 and re-download it, which could be a problem of why it's running so freaking slow. I'm not sure if I exploded. I'm pretty sure I did. I finished up uh, editing the first video today. I'm going to upload it before I go to bed make a thumbnail and everything have it upload like right in the morning I'll be able to like see it's uploaded and I'll be pretty happy and everything <sighs> I can't actually block with the sword anymore it's weird But as I was saying, the reason I had to delete Optifine for a minute or two was because I had problems where um, it no sound would work. So let's just sort of listen to some music. Uh, struggle to hear if this if I fix the sound or not through my own ideas which just involves smashing the mouse button till I heard a noise come out of the game but that didn't work I had to explore the interwebs for ideas I figured out what the attack bar is by the way so it turns out that when you do attack and everything, it's slower. Here and close that window. It's like really hot in here, and I decided to crack a window open, but now people are like walking around outside and seven, not eight o'clock at night actually. Now it's kind of like, why would you do that? That's why I went dead silent. Can I combine two types of wood to make a stick? Oh, I can. So I got loads of... Not really loads, but I got new torches. Ugh. This is what happens when you live in, like, the hottest state. It's like sitting here in a room with two fans, and you're still sweating. It just rained like two days ago. Do you think it would be better than this? Huh. I'm gonna make myself some iron tools. Just kidding, I don't have any wood, because I just wasted all of it. How smart am I? So, as I was saying before, I shied down for a second 
Um, kind of more than a second, I guess. It was more like a whole minute of shyness. The attack bar. It makes you time your attacks, basically. If you wait until the attack bar gets filled up, you're going to do more damage than if you would just, like, keep clicking. You're going to do less damage clicking. I don't know how much that is, depending on it. The diamond sword, it probably doesn't matter as much. Diamond tools, rather. But with... Wood and stone tools, that's kind of... Huge. Oh? What's that? It's a huge difference. And if you just probably wait for like a minute. But I think it's. So they have 5 attack damage with the regular stone sword. If I waited, it'd probably do like 5 damage and 5 damage. If I just click, it's probably gonna do like 1 damage. So that's probably why. Mine and oh, I don't. You should probably get rid of these picks and see who's holding on to all of them. I'll save the last bit of iron for. Hmm. Save the last bit of iron for. Important. Duties, I guess. Oh, I had more wood right there. What do I, I need to save less bit of, for armor or more tools? Uh, I can make pants, but I want to save for more tools just in case. So the next step, I guess, to take would be a put all that other junk that I didn't even decide to take out away because I don't need it. B. Let's see if there's another. Pretty sure there's another nearby cave that I can explore. God. Such a difference playing when I'm recording and when I'm not recording. If I was playing multiplayer, I'd be mining it so I could get like a little bit of money. Um, I wonder if I've been thinking about doing like a little series on be just because of like a certain plugin. It's the Slime Fun, I think it's what it's called, or something like that. It's called Slime Fun, and basically. killed him a lot faster than if I were to sit there and like oh come on get back here waiting is gonna be like So when I didn't wait, I was just clicking. It actually took me one hit, uh, three hits when I clicked. One it was charged, one when it was not charged, and another when it was charged. And when I did it, two fully charged. It took me two. It it died. Now, shove that in there. 
believe you can cook up to eight. Just one piece. So, oh, I've got already 18 in there, so that didn't really matter. I really love that new furnace sound. It's like that new car smell. It's that new furnace sound. That's what that is. This will probably just be my base until I get a uh, a new house. Just until I make a new one. Back to the slime fun. I don't think I explained that correctly at all. So slime fun's like a plug-in. Basically, it adds, it gives you like a book and adds a whole bunch of recipes into the game using like new machines you can use just by, say, instead of just a furnace, they have like advanced furnace, which is furnaces, which you need like all this advanced. Um, technology stuff for, and in order to get it, it's all part of the plugin. You research it using XP level, which I thought was pretty cool. At first, I didn't realize how you were supposed to figure out how to do all these crafting recipes. They were all locked, and I was like asking the helpers on the server, "How do I do this?" And they said, "Oh, uh, it's just a plugin. It's basically end game stuff to make you more OP. Everything. I'm like, but how do you do it?" And they just didn't understand what I meant by how do you do it. And then I realized, if I click on them, I lose XP levels and everything, and I can just do it. I was like, how cool is that? And basically, you just... There's certain blocks, like... Um, it's like a magical crafting table. You basically end up putting a dispenser underneath, and then a crafting table on top, and you build something in the dispenser, like the recipe of certain things that you want to make, so say you wanted to make, I think one was like the baked potato if you want to make the baked potato, you have to first make the butter, which you have to research and everything which you need like cream to make, and milk and you have to make cheese too, and then no, you just have to make the butter make butter, and then you have to make then you have to combine the butter and the potato in the enha enchanted, the enhanced, whatever it is, crafting table. And so basically, you put it into the dispenser in the form that, it, in the way it tells you to make, like the regular recipes. And then you click on the, the crafting table to open it up to craft. And actually, instead, it says it just automatically you open up the furnace and there's the item that you were trying to make which I think is a pretty cool mod but I'm just one person it's not a mod, it's a plugin I wish I could do mods on here that'd be cool I got the the yog box to work on here I almost got tech it to work on here. Tech it just sort of like backfired. Um, vaults wouldn't work. Most some of those mod packs worked, but the one standalone mod that I could definitely get to work was the Millionaire mod. I kind of liked that. I stopped using it though. I just remember one day I used it and then the next day I was like, you know what, forget it. It was really laggy and that was why. Like normally it was like perfectly fine that once I got to like a village with all these new blocks and people wandering around, it got kinda laggy. I got used to it after a while, but it was still pretty laggy in the game. I I'm all I'm pretty good at doing the millionaire mod stuff. Uh, I've only upset the Japanese cities once. 
I don't understand how I upset them. All I did was sell them their own fish. They they asked, "Hey, can you can you get me some fish? I'll pay you." I'm like, "Oh yeah, sure." I guess buying some fish and then Oof. See, now that I know what I'm doing, I I feel a lot more pro. I'm acting a lot more pro. I've become the pro. Oh, what am I talking about? I've always been pro. Yep. Oh, I should probably grab that iron instead of the coal first, because I don't know how long this... I wish it said, like, durability on it. Oh, that's one of the mods I was, hope that I was hoping to get sometimes. Because it's not really a mod as much as, like, a utility mod type of thing. It's, like, mods that change the game and how it works and everything. And what you do. Adding in, like, nuclear reactors and all this stuff. And stuff that mines for you. And then there's mods that give you, like, a mini-map, so you can just, like, look around the area, set waypoints, know where to go. I'm out of the torches, anyway. Those are some of the mods that I want. The ones that show, like, the durability of your tools. So you know when they're about to break, and when, if I should mine that coal, or if I should mine that iron first. Okay. Fifteen iron. I don't know if I'm recording already. So I probably got like an episode in. It can be, doesn't have to be. Sorry about that. Siblings asking, if hypothesis it has to be if then. And because, no. They, and if you're wondering the same thing for some unknown reason, don't know why you are. I don't really care why you are. That, that's your own reasons. You can believe the own things you want to, but it does not have to be. Where the heck is that in? Oh, he's outside. It does not have to be an if then or an if then because. I don't use if then because hypotheses. It's what they're called, plural, by the way. I use if this happened. Well, I do, I guess, use if then. I say if this happens, then blah blah blah. So I guess I do use them. Never really thought about it that much, though. That new furnace sound, yum. Ow, 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 I'm hitting my head on the ceiling, it hurts so badly, ow, ow, ow. She looks like we got loads of iron. Let's see. Possibly some lava. 
correction, some more lava, because I can hear some back in this area. I'm probably going to have a full set of iron armor in no time. And then I'm going to be unstoppable, because if you're wearing a full set of iron armor, there's no reason you shouldn't be unstoppable. Unless you just really, really suck. Or it's really, really laggy, because I'll give you that excuse, because I've had it happen before. Or everyone's hacking. I mean, I tried to play Annihilation, and I'm not going to say everyone was hacking, but there was a definite hacker in the game with me I went out to go get some coal to heat up my iron and to get some good gear and everything and I was recording at the time don't I do still have the recording so I could play it he was hitting me from a good six or seven blocks away I'm gonna guess uh, not seven, but probably about five or six. So I'm guessing he did have some type of hack that allowed him to hit from larger distances. And I know what I'm talking about, because I watched Team AVO all the time, so... They were, like, really experts at hacking in Minecraft and doing griefing. I watched them... still watch them every day, I should say. It's anyone who lives with me that knows who Team ABO are. So, like, my brother. They could clarify to you. They could not clarify, I guess, but... They could not prove me wrong. Not a lot of variation in what I watch. I usually watch the same thing every single day. Might incorporate something new, and then usually that new thing either disappears or is replaced by something else. for iron. I'm going to have a full set of iron armor. So it looks... <gasps> I almost slid. How am I going to do this? iron right there too I'm not really concerned about iron, like, right now, since I have half a stack of iron, and loads of coal, still got half the durability on my pick left, full set of iron tools, enough for more than just armor, I'm pretty happy. Now, I should mention, I am pretty much cursed. Whenever I reach level 30-ish, so around that area, so like a level 27 up on my XP, 
I uh, usually end up dying. I remember I got I, f I was playing on this one server and I mined out like a huge area and everything and couldn't find any diamonds. I was like, why? So I went into a cave system that I found nearby and I actually ended up finding like five, no, eight diamonds in it. And when I realized that, I was like, oh my god, I wonder if there's more. So I continued, instead of doing the smart thing of leaving and doing like slash home and then getting my diamonds to safety, I just continued and I was like, I thought nothing of it. So I actually ended up walking off of a cliff and just dying, just dying of fall damage because I walked off the edge of a cave and just fell to my death. And lost everything. I, cause actually, I found out where I died. I just wandered the cave system until I could find out where it was that I died. And when I found it, I was like, yes! And I realized it was right next to a creeper. And I was on like three hearts. And I said, I can't get it. I need to get some food. So I did slash kit food. And they gave me a furnace with coal and some uncooked food. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, great. Now I gotta cook it, or else. It's not going to be best. I can get food poisoning in the game and die. So I decided to cook it. Cooked up the food. And as I looked up to get my stuff, the creeper was gone. 